Hey guys, welcome back to Tell Me Why. Last time that we left off, we got a lot of background info on people that were in Marianne's life and how they related to the stories that she made up. So basically we have Allison and Tyler kind of piecing together this puzzle of of maybe what happened to Mary Ann that made her act the way she was acting that night. And the more I thought about it after I had got done filming the last episode, the more I felt really weird about Sam having keys to like every part of Mary Ann's house. Especially even after she was gone, it just feels a bit weird. Like, like you want to kind of feel like he's not this super bad guy, even though he's, like, doing things all wrong. But at the same time, you're kind of like, you really can't trust anybody. I mean, someone to have keys all over your house to consistently ask you to marry them over and over and over and over again, and you tell them no, like, every fucking year is a bit, like, stalker behavior, you know? So... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. At first, I didn't trust Eddie. I, I don't really trust anybody at all. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get into it, guys. Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually really pumped to get back into this game. I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy the fact that it's such a mystery and it's touching on subjects that, you know... Man. We should think about more Bron often. Lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? Oh yeah. I know you've been we waiting for off. something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Yeah, we already saw this. Mm. Uh, we'll it's watch Dana. it again. I gotta take this. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No. Just give me a sec. Oh. Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Last time I told them. Uh, um, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. I have oh, a really bad uh, feeling I'm about sure whoever this person ready. is, but, you know. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Oops. Let's do it. It's not the right time. I think I ended up saying, let's do it. Do it. Last yeah. time, yep. So we'll Great. just go with the same. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details later. Huh? I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that choice now that I like sat and thought about things. But you know, I can't go back on the choice that I made last time. We are. We're gonna keep it. Being truthful to the place. What is that? Marianne was anxious about rocks falling on the road. She always assumed the worst would happen. I mean, that really does happen, though. That shit's scary. What's going on here? I'd love to be able to make something like this. Well, what is it? Just a statue of a puppers? Huh. Okay. There's a waterfall? In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall. With an ice pick. Um, that sounds awful. No. How about... no? Can I walk faster? I don't remember. Am I walking faster? Yeah, I am. Okay. Where's Tyler at? He's over there. So let's leave him be for a second. So we can look at everything. <laughs> the way she just went down that little hill. She's taking like baby steps. D and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Okay, it doesn't really look like there's anything on the board. But what was this direction though? Oh, nothing. What's this a caution? Do not feed the bears. Keep all foods properly stowed and contained. 
Never hike alone. Do not feed the bears. Wait a minute. Stay alert. Learn to spot fish and game carcasses and scavengers. Make noise while hiking. It's interesting because Mary Ann made Sam the bear. And like all of those cautions are pretty much like be fucking careful of the bear. <laughs> right? Seems very strange. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but... The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Dorian Key? Huh. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? Have we? So, Tina? Tina West? Oh. A realtor? I don't know. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. Maybe I shouldn't have said, I shouldn't have said yes. Look, we both need this money and it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. Fuck. <sighs> I fucked up. So, before Tina called, I felt it, we but I talking. couldn't change it. Yeah? I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over that's me. That's not true! Come on, that's not fair. That's not then even why do you remotely keep true. Doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Oh, well, that's not fair to say to him. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. Fuck! I'm ready to move on. <laughs> But that doesn't mean oh, I want to burn every no. bridge on my way out. No, the distance between them. You're going to sulk all day. I like this view. Eddie warned me about this. No, first of all, it's Our not. hometown looks pretty picturesque. Do more here, shit. Doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. About the house sale. You still want to live in the wild? Come on, help me out. It's pretty crazy Tina found someone willing to pay cash for a house out here, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> you guess? That's it? I don't really want to talk about the house right now. Oh. I am. Okay. Failing! But, fuck. That's it? That's all? This has been a horrible start to this episode. Y'all are gonna be so pissed at me. I can feel it. Oh, they both grabbed the snowflakes at the same time. Hey, you feeling this? Twinsies. Found you, North Star. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. I love them so much. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. <laughs> Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. We looked like little freaks. No one else could play with us. Why would you just say that? No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, Aww. I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. <laughs> it's okay. You probably made the right call. I didn't. I didn't. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. I think, personally, Tyler was being kind of a brat 
Like, he was being a little harsh to Allison. Because I, I definitely didn't say that Eddie was being honest. I think he's lying a lot, and there's some super sketch things going on. But it shouldn't be something that should be set in stone until they get answers, you know? But Tyler is, like, adamant on hating this man. I'm more about, like, well, we Can't need to... can the still in business. We need I'm answers. In the scene. For now. But I also understand why he, like, really dislikes Eddie, because... I mean, Eddie did some fucked up shit, so... He kept them from even being together. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. What? Felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. Oh! <gasps> the fuck was that? Are you not scared, Tyler? That scared me. No, no. Nope, let's get out of the woods. It's freaking me out. <laughs> it's getting dark. Tyler, hurry up. Why are we walking? Get in the car. Hey, look what I found. No, Tyler. There's something out there I don't like. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's Aha. cute. They I carved in the tree here. when they were younger. I knew we'd been so here before. It was Ollie and Allison. We claimed it as part of the Ronin kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. Tyler and Allison. What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. I think it was Ollie. There. I don't know. better already. You're right. Way better. No. The music was borderline kind of creepy more so than happy. Felt a little scared there. Okay, now we're gonna go digging for answers. Yes, 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 yes. So, what's the plan? Answers. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. We have didn't, a good day, Mr. We Barrow. definitely did not snoop through this entire place. Morning, um, Missy. Oh, we're How Tyler. stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing Is here? Is this new Just stuff? checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Uh, don't mind me. Just totally not Wilson. being a great guest. Could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be home? Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. What about hi to me? Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. What about hi me? He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. No, he didn't even yeah, say hi to Tyler. I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Weird. Great. Okay. He has an excuse to brush us off. Fuck. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Hey. He speaks. I didn't mean to do that. How's Delos treating you so far? Uh, happy to see Allison. Yes. It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. I loved working with those kids. It was tough work. I should go. <laughs> Why would you say that to her? Thanks. God. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. 
you know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. <coughs> What's the JCE? Yeah, I don't know what that is. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the Luca. rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? What? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for... I'm not even back there yet. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. You can yes. Turn that car around. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started Ooh. working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, Your but hair. she gets to see the kids every day, so. <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Your hair looks like... Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let so you So it work. could be a stone <laughs> on top of your not head. Or it could also be, like, fresh-cut grass. I don't even know. Dr. Torres. That was you bizarre. You during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information, too, then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July yeah, 16th, We cannot be talking to him. Henderson. Right now. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My no, that this isn't creepy Does at all. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. I'm just snooping. Hey, what's over here? Oh, my nose. Oh, boy. Fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Mm. Hey, is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. Move on. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I guess I am kind of snooping. All it's right. fine. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Huh. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at 9. I was already running behind. Of course. Uh, Chief Brown's taking a statement, but you might be able to That's snag him when he's done. Sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Ah, yeah, of I course. Know the well, listen, we really Ted, appreciate you coming in after a 24 hour shift. Did you ready need for what? Else? Uh, yeah. Tyler, shall we? Shall we what? Listen, he was taking a statement. I'm not trying to, like, just piss him off even more. Like, he's doing something. Hold on. What's going on with Tyler Rohn? Stone-haired man. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't well, be a smart uh, ass, <laughs> Tyler. On. Come on. It's been a while. Won't be around long. Let's just say that. It's been a while. Thanks. It's been a while. Sometimes Tyler so is kind of around? being being that way, you know? We want to see the chief. Neon lights and smelly food. Gotta get going. We want to see the chief. We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh, oh boy. <sighs> what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him his Miranda rights. So is there anything I can help you with? How's your day access to Marianne's file? How's your day? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. That's kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. Is that why he's pissed off? Full details of your morning. Tyler, you ready? Wait, wait, wait. No, now, I'm not ready. Where was I in this report? I woke up ah, at five right. and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at six. Listen, morning, you Chief already Brown. went through that. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? Eddie's like, I'm gonna take this going on, you two? statement twice. We had a few more <laughs> questions about her mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Is that his, is the tag sticking out of his pants? Guys. What is that in his back I'm pocket? understaffed today. I've got a receptionist oh, out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. 
I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. The truth? I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. All right, well, we're gonna go do it ourselves then. We're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna snoop. Oh, oh my God. Stubborn like that. <laughs> so what now? She just did some shit. Court. We get the truth ourselves. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. Upstairs? The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? It's probably not a good decision, but uh... I woke up at five and got ready for Don't work. mind us, just going. Hey, Shit! Over there. Nothing? All right. Uh, yeah, no, everything's fine. We got caught. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Outside, check the building map. Any fire exits? Greg's mentioned something. He did mention something. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. Could you go through the full okay. details of the morning? <clears throat> my voice. I need to cough. Where are they? All right. Let's see. You are here. Emergency exits. There is. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, huh. I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got okay. a better idea? What do we do? I'm a bad actor. I mean, not really. Not really, no. Right, let's go. Okay, okay. What do I do? Diversion. Oh, 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 um, well. I don't know, how do I make a diversion here? What's this? That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Kinda messy, but I mean, sure. Um, never mind. Let's look at other stuff. I don't think that's gonna take very long. We'll come back. What else can I do? Mess some stuff up. Is that literally it? What are these? What? Okay. Nothing. I think that's it. That's it, isn't it? How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, Alright. Never mind. That seems like a really bad idea. I'd rather knock over the paperwork. Cause then I'll definitely look like a liar. What about those missing people posters? I could pretend I've seen someone. Yeah, sure. Might work. That's kind of fucked up, though. That's like really messed up. I don't think so. Let's just knock over the paperwork. <coughs> Even though I. Uh, think this is going to be like the worst distraction ever. Jesus, oh. Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. It's literally like two books. That worked. That actually worked. I can't fucking right. believe that. I'm in position. <laughs> what now? Turn right. It's like whoops, two books on the, the ground. The staircase will be right there. Can 
Can I get the fuck out of here? Let me out. Hurry up, Tyler. Oh my god, you're walking so slow. We don't have time. We must go upstairs. I can't Good believe that help. book thing worked. Um, Gotta get going. I need a smoke. Actually, no. Yes, I need a smoke. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. I know. Yeah, I know. While you're at Guys, it, don't smoke. It's bad for you. sister to stop, too. <gasps> she smokes? Allison actually okay. smokes? Okay. By the door. We didn't know that. I, I was just lying for Tyler. But what's in the trash can? Those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals <laughs> to eat our trash. Someone this is not the time. time what the hell is this? And I've got the wild Was that red warehouse part of the whole <gasps> chicken farm business? You know it. It's a shooting range now. Uh, oh, it scared me. Why am I looking at this stuff, you know? Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Oh god. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? I don't know. Let me in. Have control of your destiny. Own it. Oh. Tyler's like, "Oh, we need to hurry up. Let me lecture her on bearproof shit and uh, I don't even know." Oh god. Where are we going? We're going in here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's this? How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. He's Gradually young. really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. If Eddie catches us in here. I know. There's no turning back now. That's why we need to hurry the fuck up. What's this? Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Yeah, it's not really our business. Right? Child services on a case. Another one? What's this one? You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but... This doesn't matter. Rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for... Why is Brown on a first-name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but... Aww. That's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. He paid for... Well, come on, Tyler! He paid for him to go there. Um... Oh, personnel files... I don't know if that's good or bad, but like, Jesus. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And Let's see what's here in here. Makes me feel even worse. Oh, there's a moose. Oh. Hey, you. What is this? We are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. Oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Mr. Oh, oh, I think it's something that she made for him. Floating amid the proceeds, I search for you, my owl wade, in the dragon's head I roam, along while other stars burn in my zone. I, Jesus Christ. I, just burn it, yes. What she said. Burn that with fire. What's this? Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. <sighs> Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Yeah. And he has a really hard time hiring people out here. Flight to avoid prosecution. There's always a choice. Paraphernalia. Obsess use. What? Guilty. Armed robbery. What's his name? Donald Mert. Caucasian. Male. Is he the one moving here? Why would you want him to work at the police station? He might work. Donald Mert. U.S. Army military responsibilities accountable for actions of team assisted in training subordinates. Sandwich artist at Metro Sandwiches. Education. Oh, okay. Hmm. That seems bad. Are you sure you checked all the emails? I didn't look at a single email yet. This is a survey. Donald M. Mert, private class. Regular army was discharged. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. He was discharged. 
Under honorable conditions. Oh, okay. I thought it was like dishonorable. Okay. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Ah, hi Chief. Regarding your request this morning about the Ronin case. It hasn't been digitized yet, so you can find the paper originals in the archives. For other references about the case, transcripts of phone calls have been taken out. But you can find the digitized calls from the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else. Thomas Arbor. Huh. Dinner. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support mm. Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Uh, good morning, Chief. Tess and I would love to have you over for dinner on Thursday night, and I know you cannot say no to her roasted salmon. I didn't catch it myself, but it's this morning's catch. Looking forward to seeing you, Thomas Betchy. You Brown. Good morning, everyone. Please remember your presence is required Wednesday. I need all of us there to speak, so now if you can't attend, I'll reschedule, as I said this morning... Oh, we'll be talking about implicit bias. This is not punishment. It has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We all can benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. I've attached some reading material we'll be discussing and I'm available if there are any questions. Huh. City Council event reminder. We would like to remind you of your upcoming council meeting. You hit reply all Sherlock. Nacho Mama. What is this? Man who pissed in her cereal. What people? Not subject. Not your mama. Two officers. People, we are all adults here. Whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink better learn to clean after themselves. Or will personally stuff said culprit into the washer so they can see how it works. Okay. One of his emails mentioned the archives. Yeah, That's gotta be I love where how we're reading all this other shit. Aw, look at you, Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. We don't have time. Can we stay focused, please? I know. <laughs> Allison's like, would you stop? What's this though? The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. He thinks he pretty much knows everyone and more. Allison's in the other room. On who. He's in charge of the suit in charge. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, there's nothing here. That was me who pressed that. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? Oh god. I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da di do. <laughs> Seriously. Well you can see which buttons are pressed the most. Um No. You're pressing the wrong numbers. I know I am. I pressed the wrong one. Oh, I see the words. You're okay. The wrong I know I am. Dumb. Da. Oh. The first two seem to be right. Yes, I know. Dumb. Da. D. Do. Yes. We did it. We need to snoop faster. Ah, uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Oh my Perfect. god. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. Wow, Allison. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R six eight six five three. Look it up. Look it up. R6... She says. Okay. Eight six five three. Look it up. Look it up. Where? What's this? 
I think I've been done. R686. Um, R63, R68. What's this Here one? We go. We don't need to snoop in other people's files. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Um, chronological record. 2235 notified by my partner, Officer Christian Holt of Accident at 12 Cannery Road. Uh, white female. Oh, identified as Mary Ann Ronan. Falling over deck into lake. What? Holt and I arrive at the scene. Briefed by patrol officer J. Chan of incident. Brown. Located witnesses. Minor's name redacted. Ronan and minor's name redacted. Ronan. Children of Mary Ann Ronan. Couldn't get a statement from them as they were under di dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of patrol officer J. Chan Brown. Did Brown cover all of this up? Whoa. Um, coroner investigator T. Diggins arrived at scene. Ruled prints of victim, crime lab, tech O. Tolly at scene. Completed photographs of scene recovered in unlicensed Rassler 320, 3121 shotgun. 3121, Jesus. Bullets recovered from location, barn. Brown. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to um, look those up on the computer. Let me read the rest of it! The file hasn't been digitized yet. They may already have it in the appendix. <laughs> Coroner took possession of body, cleared scene. Brown interviewed children at station, stated that after Miner's name redacted, Ronan's hair was cut short by sister. Ro um, Miner's name redacted, Ronan, Mary Ann, Ronan threatened. Uh, basically, Tyler Ronan with a gun. When... Uh, um, Tyler Ronan fled from her. She pursued child to the docks. And Allison Ronan stabbed Mary Ann Ronan, who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water. Okay, he didn't cover it up. Witnesses state they call 911 shortly after. Brown canvassed crime scene. Did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by Allison Ronan. Presented this case to D.B. Cruz. Charged blank Ronan with homicide. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, it wouldn't be Allison. It was he, cause Tyler took the blame. They couldn't recover the the scissors, but why? Yes, put it back. Okay. We need to look for more info. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Yeah. Um, well. Okay, can I look at the crime report? Reset tags, remove tag. No. No. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. Okay. The crime report. 24 hour homicide report, victim information, and crime summary. MA Ronan personal information and rap sheet. What is happening? Found as a result, but there's nothing in here. How does this work? I'm not learning anything from this. Oh, <laughs> duh. Okay. I didn't realize it says storage 05R627. So R62766. References 05R62766. R62766. R62. Um, 
Sixty-one with some weird shit. What's this one? Our I have her autopsy report. Oh, it was already pulled out. She... Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was not fatal. What? Wait, what? Autopsy class A. Doctor Grave. Okay, blah blah blah. Post drowning, one time stab wound, L loin to assault sea scissors by daughter. Um, bloody frost seen in mouth and nose. Cerebral edema, waterlogged lungs, sea pulmonary edema, distended stomach to fluid content, three inch clean stab wound left. In the loin appears anti mortem. Or ant I don't know. F on CT, fluid in perinatal sinuses and trachea. Blood work, evidence of freshwater inhalation, other conditions contributing but not related to the immediate cause of death. Natural. Oh, it says homicide. Yeah. If other the natural causes, how did injury occur with scissors? Victim then fell over dock into freezing lake water. Was operation performed? Well, no, of course not. Um, technician S. Silva. Okay. Prior examination review by Dam E. Body tag, clothing, x-ray, type of blah, 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 blah. I don't know if any of that stuff matters much. Specimens collected. Okay. Well, she drowned, and no one told them that. She didn't even pass away. Why wouldn't anyone tell them that? Is that it? Because I'm pretty sure the other one... Oh. Here. Wait, let's see. No, nothing wrong with that. Oh, we've got more stuff. We know this one. We've already done that. Got something. O five, O one, com okay. EBR. I need to check out zero five zero one C O M E B R. Zero five zero one. Oh God! There it is. There. Their filing system is fucked up. That's all I gotta say. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? Whoa. There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. What? This is very scary. <gasps> Don't get caught. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Stall him. Stall him. No shit, Sherlock. Sam in the bathroom, get him into his office. Say I went for a smoke. Um, get him into his office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. What do I do? Do I go? Am I supposed to look for something else? Okay, okay, I'm supposed to look for something else. Eddie Brown, Brown and Children. Oh, what's that? Zero five R six eight. Miscellaneous references. Zero five R sixty eight M I S C. This one. No zero five R sixty eight. Miscellaneous. Is it this one? Okay, here it is. Okay. We're getting so much information. Why is that here? Metal clinic, uh, patient last name Ronan. 
Diagnosis, concussion, description of symptoms, pressure in the head, headache, loss of consciousness, nausea, dazed. I, patient, name or legal guardian, Tessa Vesci, hereby release St. Meadow Clinic from liability to following the patient. Blah, blah, blah. So Tessa signed them out. This doesn't really tell me anything. We need more information. Oh. Now what? What happens if we put her in there? Here. There we go. Thank God. Uh, T. Vecchi theft report and child neglect report. What? 2005 201 546. I need to check out 2005 201 546. What's this? Here we go. Did Tessa report, like, threaten Marianne or something? What the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Oh my god. Um, incident type theft. Wait, what? Associated- oh, shoplifting associated person's report. Tessa? But why? Reading those reports is like, I don't even know what the fuck's going on half the time, but... Well, we go back. More info. More info. Can we get a recording? Hmm. Too many documents re- oh. Darn it. I don't know! I want a recording! There, there's an incident report. 205, um, 21, or 2005, 210. References 2005 210 195. Is this one? There. Oh my god, we're all over the place in, in this archive room. Okay. Incident type verbal and physical threat. Proved by Joshua Greggs. Location type personal home. Associated persons named Joanna Miller. Person reported Mary Ann Ronan, July 8th. Date of action, okay. Greg's at approximately 1525, 1525 hours. I don't fucking know how to say that. Mary Ann Ronan arrived at Johanna Miller's home to cut her hair. Two women had settled on date and time earlier that week. The appointment was arranged for 1500 hours and Miller states that that, that is the only thing they had agreed on that day and had not agreed on any sort of payment. According to Miller's statement, Ronan arrived at Miller's home approximately 25 minutes late and looked real tired and anxious like she was maybe on something. Shortly after arrival, Ronan began to cut Miller's hair in her kitchen. After the haircut, Ronan asked to be paid $20 in cash for her work. Miller then stated that she only had a $10 and a $5 bill and asked Ronan if it was sufficient payment. Miller stated that Ronan then exploded into a fit of rage and assaulted me with insults. Miller declined to specify the insults as they were too monstrous for decent conversation. When Miller requested that Ronan remove herself from Miller's home, the situation escalated and Ronan made physical threats to Miller, telling her that if she did not pay her for her work, she would take her payment from Miller by taking something from her home. Miller reported no items missing. Miller stated she then threw Ronan out of her home, locked the doors, and proceeded to call the police. When patrol came out, they noticed Miller's picket fence had been vandalized, apparently having been driven through with a vehicle. Miller stated that before Ronan had been into her home, the fence had been intact and simply lovely. Okay. I need to get moving. I know I'm trying. Shit. 
Oh god. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. <gasps> He's coming your way. Oh my god, what do I do? Get out. Uncle, I we didn't mean I'm to. I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. Hey, get off me. Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky, your family. Are you kidding me? Um, can't we just talk in private for a second? You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Please give us answers. Please. Oh man. Okay. Him coming in there scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Felt like I was in You're trouble. Right. We need to talk. Oh. Thank God. Thank God. Woo! That was scary. Sometimes you gotta defuse a situation, you know? The winter before your mother's death was... hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and... plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So Tessa came to you. Listen, let's just not start yelling, okay? You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa it's came to me because she was fucked. honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. That's true. He is. Tessa stabbed her in the back, so you called child services. That, though... So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. We saw those towny complaints against Mary Ann Tyler. It wasn't just Tessa's word. Yeah, that is true. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. Her makeup An now. assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. It still is, true. little moose. Yeah, I don't think Maybe that's how that works. Lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. It's bullshit, Allison. Just like that, huh? I mean, like... <sighs> I feel like it's bullshit. But I don't think we should be yelling at her. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger you at You see Tessa. the lighting differences on both of you them? You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past ten years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, 
It's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. He did take on that and responsibility. I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. But... We could get there with time. No, it's not that easy. I don't feel like Eddie's a bad guy. I think he's done some shit. Everybody makes mistakes and he's lied. And it's awful. But I don't think he's a bad guy. I mean, he did take on the responsibility I'm open to there. But of it's Allison take some taking time care of her, we're, you know? Uh, so we can't forget that. Big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh. I mean, they should still be pissed. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Them as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. Tyler, what's up? Let's see. I want to apologize. I saw the fireweed invoice. So, uh, I saw the invoice from Fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. I, uh... He paid for everything. We don't have to talk about it. Oh. Uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. Um, yeah, let's apologize. I, uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh yeah, what for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Sorry. No. It was messed up. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. Uh, okay. No, no guarantees. See you around. Well, yeah, see he... you around then? You know where to find me. I forgot that he paid for for all of that fireweed we experience as well. And that's what I mean, like, he's made a lot of mistakes, but you can tell that he was trying, and he's tried the best that he can to do right by Allison and at least Tyler. Keeping them apart was a dumbass decision, but like, you know, he was young, like super young, and he took on the responsibility of raising her and probably didn't know what the fuck he was doing and then had all that guilt as well, so. I don't know. I I feel for him. I don't think he's a bad guy. You know? I, I think he's trying. So let's get the hell out of here. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. <laughs> could have gone real bad. If I had made the wrong choice, oof. That could have been like a full-blown fight. Oh, she's a, the dog lady. I didn't know that. What happened up there? Long um, story. Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Luke Chin up, in. stand tall. Had a girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. Hi. I can't be expected Hi, to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Oh. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Pulled pork yeah, sounds sure. great. I'll text you. Can I talk? What about me? I wanted to talk to her. You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Yep. Okay, well, never mind. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you, you later. kids be careful out there, Look yeah? what you want. What do you want? Huh? He's trying to push my table over. Don't, no, no, don't you do it. Don't you do it. All right, let's go. Well, we got the answers we wanted. Pretty tragic that- wait, what? Why Allison. are you storming out like that? What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. <laughs> well, she just like... ran out that what door. What are we gonna do about Tessa? So upset. Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. 
That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Whoa. His turn really? skip. Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh, oh. my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't. Can't watch someone cry. Makes me sad. <laughs> Oh. Oof. I don't think that she I don't think that she meant bad either. It doesn't it doesn't feel like it. But what, you know, like was Marianne Wait, struggling everybody? with mental illness? Tess what has got to be around somewhere. Really pushed I mean, like these people pushed her. I think I, I'm hearing but, something. Like why would she have had well, that shotgun? At least I guess we know the entire world didn't vanish. Maybe she thought someone was going to take the kids that night. I don't know. But well, given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa. Okay. 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 On it. Shopping. Just as I was finishing up, you see a big old bull staring me down. So what do I do? Nice. I grabbed my odd six from the trunk and set my sights. Shot it. Cheers, sir. Why? You were here first, though. Hey, man, when the door opened, I had a door to walk right through. He killed that moose for no reason. Gross. Come in. Wait, who the hell is this person that's talking? Boy Scout. Oh, it's this guy. It's this guy that was on the the boat with us. Oh, remember he had all those. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately, we're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Will she be back soon? Is Tom busy? Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Okay, well, Tessa be back soon. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's gonna be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Okay, all right. Well, um, this man, you're, you're awful. Doing some shopping? I'm looking for Tessa. Just looking for the woman who runs the place? The shopkeeper's wife? Can't say I've seen her around. About your hunting story? Are we about to tell this dude off? So, I, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Not really. Come on. I'm not gonna report you, but it's a shitty but thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> oh, hoo, hoo. Tyler, wait, what's this orange juice? At the house. You could use some of that at the house. No, I switched shifts because I wanted to get some. Okay, they're talking over there. But it turns out I was also oh, how Tyler comes in at, from all the way across the store just to tell that man off. Okay, let's go in here. Hi, what's going on? What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Allison, hi. Hello, Tyler. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, um... actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. 
Tessa reported Marianne. Oh, we're just going. Tessa reported Marianne to here. social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. Come on, I... I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That's that true. Was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Tessa reported Mary Ann. Why was Tessa at the station? Thank you, Tom. Why would we ask that when we already... Wait, what? Is this something Why different? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? Oh, okay. She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she Luca hear about it so fast? Toy. Can't remember who called, but... Oh, that's true. You know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. That's very weird. That's really weird. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if, if you felt... Or, yeah, what? Resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. <laughs> now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. We need the truth to heal. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? That's such bullshit. That's such a bullshit answer. I... Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, it's not hard to just fucking there, tell uh, the truth. Anything you know. else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear Sometimes. any rumors about our mother, like who her father might have been? Oh, mm, I'm not exactly a rumor. Yeah, mother. they. Your mother was close to a few men, that. but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Oh my god. But look, I. Oh, gosh. Uh, I was I'm wondering sorry. that. I really have to go. A while go. back. They've just never said who their father uh, was. Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, yeah, sure thing, boss man. Strange. See you later. Strange. You two want to help a brother dad. out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Hmm. Where'd that question about our father come from? I'm curious what he knows. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. It's Besides, true. Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. <laughs> That's uh, true. Hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Sorry if you can hear Luca. He's chewing on his soy, but he's happy. Uh, you won't be alone. Should we just not go? You won't be alone. You'll be with me. I know. But I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. Oh, she is not happy with us. Um, 
Oh, interesting. Who the hell could their father be? God, what if their father was Sam? Or what if Sam was the person who gave information that night? Like, just something's wrong. Something is very wrong. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not okay. complicated. I've okay. got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? Yes, your job's not that hard. <gasps> okay, let's not be mean. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Hey, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Hey, what's this? That is not tomatoes. I thought that it was something else. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, I don't see no, no, oh, there they are. Hold on, let me count this. 12, 14, are you fucking serious? I have to do this? Oh, I don't wanna work. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. My brain Sounds takes longer to count Man, things. I'm so I'm good at this. Horrible. That was easy. I'm horrible at that. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. I think they're On over it. to the left. Bleach. I'm assuming are these right? Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Is that bleach? I mean, like, I could have just lied. Oh my god, it was. What, what do you need? What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Oh, is he drawing while we're trying to do this? <laughs> is that supposed to be me? <laughs> yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? That's beautiful. There's room for improvement. The proportions are way off. Let's say that's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> oh. I like it, for real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. You just have a calculator. Uh, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Wait, um, plushies? No clues? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, uh, you're too kind. You know, what the hell? You found the box of plushies? No. This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Is it these? Yep, it is. So... Are you serious? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? Might be eleven of them in there. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. It's hard to tell though. Did I get it wrong? My eyes. Michael? What is this? What is happening? Ouch, <gasps> what the fuck? Hey, sorry. Oh God. It was just too tempting. <laughs> that scared me. Oh, look at the rainbow. Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your the guard down. What is that? Oh, you is that like no a bear thing? You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. How do I throw it? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he get? Where is he? You come out here. Damn, overshot it. Oh, shoot. 
Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? You just wait. I'll fuck you just up with this you plushie. Wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? Where we'll the heck see. is he? Where is he at? Oh, can I go over there? Oh, oh my god, run. He's right here. Oh god. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Ooh, I'm good looking, huh? Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't As let Deacon it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. He's 100% flirting with me. Would you pop your little head out of there? Jesus. Boom. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. He hasn't even thrown one. You gonna throw that? Oh. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Doesn't Aren't you guys matter. gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Would you come out here? <laughs> gotcha. Hey, we win. Oh, I guess not. We don't win yet? Oh, oh Jesus, <laughs> Man, right in the good. face. I told you not to doubt the gold mine. <laughs> well, that is one way to flirt. Again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy the name what? for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Uh, okay, let's snoop. Time to snoop. What's this? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that wow. was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Mm. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. B and That's A. Father Allison Batista. wrote them there. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. What's that thing over there? What is that? Is that the mangy muskrat? Oh my god, it is. So is he the mangy muskrat? Open. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? Pizza time? It's the trial oh, I caught yesterday time. at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned oh. marinade. What? You're super thoughtful. For real. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Yeah. I'll have to fix Aww. that. Okay. That's sweet. We got a nice plant over here. I like this. Beautiful, beautiful. Duplex Duo Live. And Juno, Juno Coalition for Equality Potluck. Oh, family friendly, open to all. That's awesome. Is there anything else? Can I look at those up close? No. All right, well, let's sit down. I love how he is just holding that clipboard, man. Is like, this for Chief dear Brown? life? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. Oh, what? What do you think of Eddie? What's your clan? I'm curious. Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close mm -hmm. to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. Of course. And I'm done. No! Listen! Hold on, I need to I'm look at stuff. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Wait, yeah, why wouldn't she? she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers. She didn't say anything. Oh, I, he, he's like exhausting Tessa. to spend your days educating these people. Fuck that. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't 
Screw Tessa. the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. <laughs> and emotional labor pays <laughs> shit. Do you ever get lonely here? Have you ever been with anyone here? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and ask that. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal. I mean, it's super personal, Wait, but we're going to do it anyways. You ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. Uh, still figuring my shit out. Never met the right person. How about we just say never met the right person? I've never really been with anybody. I guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. But if I met a guy I was into, who knows? Oh, let's ask, do you ever get lonely here? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. So I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me because no one else will. Right, I feel you. Okay. Uh, earlier when I asked um, about the post or whatever, I thought he was saying that Allison didn't like that being hung up there. I was like, what the fuck? He meant Tessa. Ugh, anyway. Tessa's awful. Tess is awful. I, I, like, actually completely forgot that she tried to give Mary Ann a pamphlet for conversion, like, school or something. Um, I can't remember what it's called because of Tyler. Conversion, like, therapy or some BS. No way. You like Tess Duplex sucks. Duo, too? Yeah. <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. What happened? You know what's up. All right, you know what's up. You listened to his earlier stuff, The Dark Arc of Destiny? <laughs> Not yet. It might be a bit experimental for me, though. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. One of the songs is like nine minutes of the same MJG drum machine sample. Fucking brilliant. But not for everyone. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. Mm. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. It's a little skippy. Is that so? Sorry, I think my computer. Uh, Allison just said she was. Weird. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. How do you so, know? Why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Oh. Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough, and she loves you, like, crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. Hmm. You're pretty all right. Thanks. Uh, you're not too bad yourself. Yeah, let's not say um thanks. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. He was Especially very nice. around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with totally us. Totally flirting with me. I know. I... I've got a community there. I mean, I too. would flirt with Tyler. He's cute as fuck. Hmm. Let's be honest. In. <laughs> There's a concept. Super cute. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can Chosen I ask you a question? Family. Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. Hmm. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. You're swell, too? Don't make me cringe. We're not looking for the same thing. Okay, well... We only have one option, but saying swell? Please don't say swell. Well, golly gee, Michael. Oh, okay. I think you're swell too. Thank you're God. The cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut Thank God. Up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. They're For cute! Sure. If that's something you'd be interested They're in. They're cute! I might be. Yeah. Oh, Allison, nothing's happening. Oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. <laughs> Are dumb you guys dumbs. ready to go? Mm-hmm. 
I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Cute. Cute. They did touch on a subject too um, that I, I strongly believe in, like your chosen family. I think people. I mean, obviously you have your your blood family, but here we are. Um, not everybody has has that close knit tie with their blood family, you know. And I think it's important to accept and understand that. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. We're allowed to choose no our family and like you're who sure we, we can't drive you back. Family. Nah, you're like, like for me, my, my family. It isn't far. They're my friends, you know. Anyway, my can't very put the close in a bottle. friends. That's family to me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. Oh, Allison. For real. She's so pretty. They're both so, like, they're just, oh, you they're so cute. Spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, <laughs> especially after, you know. I promise yeah. after this, we can chill at the house, cool? I mean, Allison has so many feelings about having obviously stabbed her mom. Should we go this way? What was this way, though? Hey, graves are back that way. Okay, never mind getting yelled at. <laughs> Game so is like, you're not supposed to go there. Come back. Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? Yeah, that's... Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. It was weird. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. Never had a reason to. Thankfully. I'm having uh Mother memory. Just come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. Oh. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they yes. stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? Oh, that hit hard. <laughs> Always. That shit's fucking she true. I strongly believe in that. Lot, oh. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Was... So, Marianne seems to have a very close-knit bond with, um... Eddie's mom, who had passed away. Do you think Eddie is, like, actually their biological father? Because... That would be fucking insane. And if that was a lie that he actually was keeping... Oh boy, there's no recovery from that one. Maybe he didn't know or doesn't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, on the topic of like, they're always, they stay with you. I, I do strongly believe that. It kind of hit home a little bit. What is this? Celebrating life. Okay, it's just a bunch of posters. We ain't got time for that shit. We ain't got time for that. Okay. Where is her grave? Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact There's a person one. over there. Don't go over there. Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? CeeLo Green. Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the guess again. Yeah, well. I mean, it would probably be the fresh ones over Look, here, like with the flowers. 
Listen, hold on. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. I think she's at their mother's grave. Oh, Bald Eagle. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. Oh. It's time. What was that? What was that? Whose is this? Someone else? Do we really have to go, Eddie? I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. Hmm. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yes. Yeah, exactly. What's this gate? Oh, is that where her grave is? Well... Okay, that's Michael. All right, all right, all right. Let's open this. I think we should come back out to Michael. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Dang. Uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, Aww. come back. Only a few steps in, and I'm already starting. Yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? What is totally this? Gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Oh, we see it. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but... Aww. I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, yeah me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. What? They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. Oh, they remember two different things. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I supposed to choose? Oh god. Why? Why do they do this to me? I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. Tyler promised to return. I'll be back soon, alright? But I'm gonna come to see visit. you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. Oh my god, why am I supposed to make a choice between this? Oh. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's but go I'm with gonna Tyler's, I guess. Week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. We'll see each other soon, then. Stop crying, silly. We have to go, kids. God. I could have sworn it went the other way. I'm so sorry. I, I should have staged a hunger strike until Eddie agreed to drive me. Hey, water under the bridge. I feel like they're torturing me with some of these choices. I, like... I just... My God. I don't want to tear them apart over some of these memories. 
You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about mm -hmm. ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. It is? <sighs> oh, Carol Brown. <sighs> Eddie's mother. <sighs> She really loved her. <laughs> Something's up. I forgot how hard Marion took it when Eddie's mom died. Something's up. We're only four. But yeah. She lost one. Why else? Now, now I'm like, so why else would Eddie take Allison? Place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marion's? You know. It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Weird. Very bizarre. I mean, I guess she could have just loved the woman, but still. Something seems very off. Who is that? Who is this? And then I took Dana ice skating on Wednesday. Oh, okay. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice like she was born to do. Let's leave her to peace. We should not be interrupting that. Yeah. This this is it. Right. Yeah. I can't see. God, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll is be it right here? Back. I yeah. can't tell. What is what am I looking at? Is this one? She's gotta be here somewhere. Not this one. Not that one either. These are all like unreadable. This might take a while. Marianne. Oh, yep, there it is. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. Oh shit. It's, oh. it's acting weird. You didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see. But what are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Oh, they would be scary to approach. pass on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. It's not true. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. 
There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away! I couldn't let her drag you down with her! She so, had you stealing for God's sake! When I Your get mother Marianne never help. wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A wow. spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... What? Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. Oh, my God. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. You could have done better. You did what you had to. You destroyed our family. I'd say you could have done better. You could have, like, I get that if Marianne, Marianne wouldn't let you help her. Yeah. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes. You're right. She was struggling with addiction. There were and... other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I <sighs> know the last couple of it's days... It's like holding my breath there. Hated. Thank God. I'm up for a fresh start if you are. But it's not really up to me. Tyler? I don't think it is good for Tyler, for fucking anybody, for that matter, to hold on to grudges or resentment or bitterness. It is better to try to have peace if peace is offered, you know? So I think I'm gonna choose I'm done losing people. Um, it's just not healthy. It's not a fucking healthy way to live. You have to forgive to some extent. Not, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying. I, I just I'm done don't losing people and if don't want we can't let him. people grow then what the hell kind of chance do we have exactly thank you both of you kids I never knew your mother's whole story but it was obviously very painful she always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had I'm going to try harder to forgive her I hope you can as well if you two are in town tomorrow come by the cafe lunch is on me Okay. It's like they're we're, be we're our cake own on best menu? examples for change, you know? You know? I and think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. Yeah. I think that was the right choice. Whew. That was tense, though. That was tense. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. Wait, are we supposed to go get Michael? She probably feels the same. She needed to hear all that. She did. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Michael. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Come Any back. Ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. Allison, but Michael, though... Um, man, we are walking so slow. 
Like, we can't just, like, dip out when we said we were gonna meet him there. No! Can we head back to the car? Oh, Jesus. I guess we have to. That seems really messed up, though. I wanted to... I wanted to... I mean, I guess that was kind of Michael's alone time. But still, like, his own private moment. Don't want to be unsupportive of that. Well, I guess we gotta go back. Had no choice. Whew, that was tense. That was tense. Also, what the hell happened with Sam? We need answers now. Is Sam our dad? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. All right. You want to sit down for a bit? Whoa, 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 it's for wigging out. Holy guacamole. I don't know, sitting down is something the game likes. Here, let's try it. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. Second chapter's quite I get long. now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Was... Oh, okay. I was making sure it wasn't lagging. Thanks for coming with me. Our reunion hasn't gone as planned. No, thanks for coming with me. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only oh. one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really mm. don't have to. That's you sweet. saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You didn't waste You're anything. on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And and what am I doing? Nothing. Stop putting yourself down. You needed time to heal. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, alright? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. So pretty. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills mm -hmm. to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. Aww. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. Yes. So, I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. But their dad, though... Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Aww. It was really tragic. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't think that's... That's not what she was doing. I just don't think that's right. It still feels like there's something missing. I'm so sad. Right? She was probably trying to protect them. You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. There's gotta be something more. There, That's the probably hell? always gonna feel that way. What was that dark, dark music? We still have the person to sell the house and everything. We need to talk to Sam. Something is up. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. <laughs>
Oh shit. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Uh, the only person who had that key was Sam. Oh my god. Who the fuck is that? What? How'd you miss that? That person is pretty light on their feet. Tyler, are you alright? Uh, oh my god. Stay there. I got it. Oh my god. What? What was in there? Sam saw something and said you fool once. That was just because of like the gun, right? What the? Ow. Jesus. What happened? I don't know. I got excited. There, there I started fucking shit up. A, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? I what did he look like? Oh, didn't see him, but he was sure. nimble. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? There's something here. I don't know. They don't want us to find. But I'm going to find and out. And they know we're searching for answers. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. The only person that seemed nimble is Eddie. Did he really have to smash everything? I might have found something. Oh, what is that? He went looking under the rug? He went looking under the no. rug? This. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly well, find a tool to do that? Really failed trying to, um... Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. Or chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. A little house on the tundra. What? Is that a box under the barn? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's, um... What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? Asshole even dumped the drawers. This guy went on a tear. What's this? God. Huh. I really turned this At place upside down. At least you were spared. Down. What is that? The moon hag. Oh, 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 right there. I think that'll help. It looks like a pry bar or something, or... I guess I we know how he made the hole. We did a shit, do a shit job trying to burn this sh stuff. I don't know, I'm just like, my words aren't coming out. There's so much shit happening. Step back. I'll why be would, fine. why? Something is up. What is that? Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, oh, though. Book of Goblins. Let's see, it's the I one. I know this episode's getting so long. Um, oh, 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 oh. Wait, right here. Look, it's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. The goblins earn their voice. Once upon a time in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblins spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second, and so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose an uneven trail I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into stalwart moose's eyes. What? Huh? Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose. For the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. After a few minutes, the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The stalwart moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. He spied the golems hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the golems were often up to mischief. The two golems whistled innocently, and the moose was forced to carry on. 
because they were not doing anything obviously bad. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? Asked the secret... Oh, oh. What do you have to trade? Asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess, and the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know that Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. Oh my god. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she had, where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and just managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories and they snatched their hands back out, as if they had just thrust them in boiling water. Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, see the se seethed the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblins stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange? They asked. I will give you back the silver-handled hairbrush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets? Pshaw? Psh what? You'll have to offer more than that. What if, said the secret keeper, I shared the gift of voice? The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. The crafty goblins gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back into the big wooden house. Well, that's strange. How did she know about that? There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was a blank. They tried to speak her to her using only their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other, and not with the whole of the forest. And that is how the goblins stole the gift of voice from the secret keeper, but why they could only use it with each other. Huh. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Well, Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it I was open. Supposed to say, I don't think Preferably there's. Preferably without destroying the box. Um, okay. I don't think there were any numbers in that story, so. Something to break the lock. I could have sworn I, I almost saw something that looked like a lockpick, but. Oh, here we go. This will work. Yeah, that'll break a lock. Why are we looking at the boat? Well, at least he left us the junker. Okay. Let's do this. We need Let's to get in here time. right now. That was weird that Marianne knew about their voice. Right? And Eddie's wife fell down a cliff? I this think she is... didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Della's Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When, when we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway and my, or with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. That's gotta be Sam. Fuck. That's rough. Mary Ann, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel you'd make this, a great mother. This guy tried to push Mary Ann to get an abortion. Even though she wanted to keep us. Um, you make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday, but right now we have to be sure we don't run or ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just tell me how much you need. Is the handwriting the same? And we can't assume that that's Sam without an actual... Like... Signature, right? What is going on? That's everything. What the hell? So... Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. Yes. 
He came for these letters. Yeah. He turned the but whole why, place though? upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Right? I... Uh-oh. What? I don't... I, I don't think it's Sam. I am... I'm panicking. Oh! Where's his memory? Where's it at? Is it out here? <laughs> Allison! Allison! Was he there that night? <laughs> Why are we seeing this? I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Something's up. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? Eddie fishes a lot. Sam In also does, too. He could have said hello. What? This is where I tripped. Mad Hunter. Oh shit. Wait. There was someone here that night? Yeah. What? No. It was just I s I saw who the hell did I actually see? Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. This is crazy. Who is this? Was there someone over there? A mad hunter. What? Oh god. No. That That was the mad hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Isn't that concerning, Tyler? Do you think Tyler? it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They yes. were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. Oh my god. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? Yes. A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on. Do you feel that? Oh, it's starting to kind of lag a little bit. Where's that? Where? Oh, here. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock. About us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's- Allison. I can't go through that again. Oh. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, even after what I did for you. Just one more time. Don't threaten just her. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Whoa. What? How? How? 
How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? What? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. What just happened? Oh my god. Answers? What's happening? Oh, okay. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try huh. to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. Oh, God, you're asking a lot of her. Ooh. Come on, Allison, you can do it. So you're here to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... All over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. Someone in a boat. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Let's not push her too much. It's still something. I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. Don't. You can't do this. We owe oh her. Oh God. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is going to change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only going to get worse. Hmm. They're totally falling apart. It makes me so sad. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? Is that that a-hole that killed... Well, if those kids have a the father, moose. you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You I have no claim too. to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison! That's gotta be the ending of that chapter, yeah, of chapter two. Holy fuck. I think it's that dude that came back that was in Tessa's place and saying he killed a moose out of season like a jerk. Oh my god. 
Tyler and Allison. Tyler felt Allison discarded his feelings when choosing her memory at the house. 56% chose Tyler's memory. 44% chose Allison's memory. Choosing her memory at the house. Which one? Shit, I don't... Oh... Oh, that was a long time back. Tyler didn't feel heard about needing time when Allison accepted the house showing. Yeah, I fucked that one up. I, I do know I fucked that one up. Allison felt hopeful about becoming a family when Tyler forgave Eddie. 81% forgave Eddie. Okay. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. 81% forgave Eddie. So maybe Eddie really isn't the bad guy. Um, Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. 79% accepted Michael's compliment. Aww. Tessa felt grateful the twins kept her in their lives. 82% forgave Tessa. Okay. So I made a couple bad decisions in the beginning. But I wanted to see Alice inside a little bit. Oof. Man. Oh, I'm so ready to play the next chapter, too. This game is great. This game is so fucking good. <laughs> really, really dark, though. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I think he's that dude. He seemed like a piece of poop. Just even meeting him on the boat. And they said it was an all-cash offer. And then he was just there um, for some days. And when we talked to him on the boat, he said that... He said that he was um, visiting from out of town. And also, like... Yeah, he's probably the one who's trying to come and put the cash offer down on that house, too. Alright, guys. That's going to be it for today. Really, really fucking enjoy this game. It's it's so deep and there's so many different levels to like the mystery that's going on. It's also really tragic as well, kind of seeing the twins fall apart because Allison really just wants to forget what happened. She doesn't want to confront all of those bad feelings or confront the harsh reality of stuff, whereas Tyler Tyler's been confronting shit his entire life, you know, like he went to fireweed um, He had to confront his transitioning period and you know telling everybody and You know becoming himself. So he's been he's been doing this since forever, you know And so I think him handling the truth and confronting things to heal is is how he does things He's he knows how to do that whereas Allison doesn't and it doesn't mean that she's necessarily in the wrong for feeling the way she feels. It's just that she, like, she might not be going about it the most productive way. You know, she's not allowing herself to heal properly. She's very stuck. And even when you you have them talking to each other about their, their futures and stuff, Allison feels like, you know, she took the life from Tyler and that she doesn't really have anything going for her. Which isn't true, but it also shows how stuck she feels. Whereas Tyler is kind of like, has plans and has this future to, to move on to. So it's, it's pretty sad. And it's pretty sad to, to hear that Marianne was struggling um, financially. She clearly also struggled with drugs as well. And trying to raise those two kids and having a deadbeat father who wanted nothing to do with them except for threatened to take them from her. So... It does turn out that she was not trying to... I don't think she was trying to kill them. I think she was trying to protect them from that dude on the property because he was there. It's crazy. It's crazy. For a second, for a split second, I was like, could it still be Eddie? But I don't think so. And I don't think it's Sam either because Sam just doesn't seem like he'd be that nimble to be running around. He's not that skinny. Huh. It's crazy. All right, guys, make sure to check out the links in the description. Leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching, guys.